everyone, it's Kayla. I don't know another morning walk, and today I want to talk to you about the dangers of a cheat meal or um, rewarding yourself for sticking with your diet. Well, it's kind of funny to think about rewarding yourself with food for sticking to your diet. Um, really, your reward should be the results that you're in it for. Um, I do believe there comes a time and a place if you're dieting really hard where you need to refeed just um, to restore your glycogen levels. Um, <clears throat> a lot of times you can actually have a greater weight loss effect after a refeed because it helps to stimulate your metabolism to get going again. Um, but I think how you do it is incredibly important. And I think a lot of times people turn to the wrong foods for a refeed. They think that it's just a pass to go ahead and eat whatever they want as their cheat meal or refeed. And it's just not a good idea for several reasons. Um, first of all, most refeeds consist of a lot of carbs or sugar. And uh, I'm sure you all have heard that sugar is... Um, more addicting than cocaine or heroin or a lot of the other opiates. And it stimulates your brain a lot more than those drugs do. When you eat sugar, it lights up your brain in different areas. So you kind of have this ping pong, ping pong ball effect of just lighting up different areas of your brain. So it's very, very addicting because it is such a stimulant to your body. Um, so when you are dieting really hard and you go and you have sugar or a lot of carbs, your body a lot of times is going to start craving it a lot more. And then it's going to be a lot harder to stick to your diet going forward. Also, a lot of people's digestion can't handle these massive cheat meals or just consuming a lot of sugar at one time. So if you're battling digestive issues through trying to lose weight, then a lot of times these refeeds or cheat meals can actually set you back, create a lot of bloating, a lot of constipation or digestive upset. And then you have to backtrack. That could cost you four or five days um, worth of dieting and just feeling kind of yucky because of what you decided to eat for your refeed. So I mentioned before, I do believe that it's okay to have a refeed and a lot of times it can be healthy when you are training really hard but you can do this through um, <clears throat> more natural foods or just make better choices like if you're having <clears throat> root vegetables as your main carb source you can have an extra meal that day of protein some extra sweet potato or other healthy carbs that aren't gonna um, upset your digestion and foods that aren't gonna cause you to start craving all these things that you're trying to avoid. Because really, dieting is hard. So when you're doing these things, you're just really setting yourself up to make yourself miserable. And if you're trying to lose weight, a lot of times it's probably because you're trying to better yourself in some way or better your health. So um, just make that your main focus instead of how much weight you're losing. Um, because if it's about health, you're going to be a lot more conscious of the foods that you're thinking about eating. If it's just typically um, <clears throat> superficial and you want to just lose weight to look good, a lot of times you can um, start making bad decisions when it comes to a cheat meal or refeed. Because you don't have enough want or your reason for it isn't big enough. But if you really want to change your life and have... A healthy lifestyle, feel really good, and just achieve more long-term goals, then think about it as a health aspect instead of just, this is my cheat meal. And I really hate the term cheat meal too, because it's kind of like a pass to just go and eat whatever garbage you want. Um, and as I mentioned before, it's just not something that's going to set you up for success. So like I mentioned, um, just stick to a good balanced meal, you can have some extra carbs. Even if you don't eat an extra meal, but you keep the same um, eating schedule, you can add a little bit more carbs 
to those meals to help space it out so you're not getting that insulin spike as well. And over the course of a day, your glycogen levels are gonna be restored so you can resume your normal training and rest and all that stuff that's gonna help you perform better. So that's about it. I hope you guys got something good out of this. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also leave any comments if you have questions or another topic that you wanted me to discuss. And I hope everyone has a great day. See you next time.